Today I'm going to walk you through the pan and zoom feature as well as the auto reframe found in Adobe Premiere Rush. If you want to learn how, stick around and I'll show you. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools, and tricks to help you share your story. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm going to walk you through a couple of new features found in Adobe Premiere Rush, and that is auto reframe and pan and zoom. Really great. I'll walk you through what each of them do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So I went ahead and launched Adobe Premiere Rush here. I've imported a couple of video clips as well as some still images. So I want to show you the two new features here. I'm going to start with auto reframe. I think that's my favorite of the new features here. So let's go ahead and click play here. These video clips I shot with my camera. And as you can see, it is in landscape mode. Right now you'll see a pelican kind of fly through here. And in the next clip, there's a boat that's sitting in the middle of the bay. So these again are shot kind of full frame in landscape and you're viewing it in landscape view. So one of the cool things about the auto reframe, what it does is when I change kind of the um, format of the video here. So let's say I go with 916 or 9 by 16, whichever way you want to call it. Um, Adobe's Sensei, it's artificial intelligence, goes through and does some algorithms. I call it magic here. And what it does, it, it uh, adjusts here. Now, I haven't hit the auto reframe here just yet. I'm going to go ahead and hit play and you'll see that pelican kind of go through. And again, I kind of did my own manual uh, panning again and it's pretty much spot on and it kind of fades out here. But what the auto frame does, I'm going to go ahead and tap actually select both of these and let's go up to the menus here on the right and click on the effects button here. And then there's auto reframe there. So what I'll do is just click on auto reframe and you'll see at the bottom of those two clips, you'll see this purple bar that's kind of uh, sliding through. And that again is the AI doing its magic and reframing the shot so that whatever I want in focus or in frame is being adjusted here. So let's go ahead and try that again. Let's go ahead and hit play. Let me back up some here. And again, I did a pretty good job manually here but it's, it just looks a lot more smoother. Now, it kind of flew out of frame there. So what I'm going to do is adjust the frame. You notice, you see that there, it pops up. So then I can adjust so that it, I'm gonna drag it there so that the Pelican is pretty much always in frame here. So let's click apply and it does kind of some readjusting. So let's back that out. And it's like much more smooth and then it kind of uh, blurs out. And then here we have the boat. So it stays pretty much in the center there. This is a great feature for those action sport shots of your kind of shooting cyclists or skiers kind of going down and you know, they're always kind of going in and out like this. It looks great in landscape, but if you want it to look great in, you know, your nine by 16, four by five, click on auto reframe, your skier will pretty much always be in the frame and you can do some kind of tweaking there. Great feature, auto reframe, check it out. Let's go ahead now and look at the pan and zoom effect found in Premiere Rush. I'm going to be using the still images for that. And for this, I'm actually going to go back to my landscape view. I want it to look just right here. So these are shots I took with my camera again. This is down at the same trip here, this hotel there and you know, these again are still images. So if I were to kind of put these into my video, you know, as it's scrolling through or as I play the video, you see kind of the video clip and then you kind of see a still image. So you can add a little bit of dynamics to your still images here in Adobe Premiere Rush. So here we have those five clips. So what I'm going to do is select all five. Since I'm already in the effects tab, I'm going to choose pan and zoom and let the AI do its magic here. And there we go. We see the purple bars at the bottom. So it's already been done. And what it will do again is have some movement to some still images. So here we go. Let's hit play here and see what happens. Well, actually I'll scrub through and you can tell. So let's go ahead and hit play. 
and cool so you, you got a little bit of of movement for still images so you can kind of uh inter splice them i'm not sure that's the right word but drop them in between your video clips you have a little bit of action again or movement to your still images so really cool features new that have been released for adobe premiere rush i'm loving these new features in adobe premiere rush next time i go shoot some action video knowing that i can do some uh, auto reframe in rush it's going to make me rethink how i frame the shot what are your thoughts what do you think about these new features let me know by adding it in the comment section below if you have a question too feel free to add it there don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and then share it with your friends and uh thank you again for stopping by remember be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.